Okay, I swear. I just looked in the mirror and I did not look this bad. I feel like I look worse on camera, but it's fine. We're gonna roll with it. Welcome back to another video, everybody. And if you guys are new here, I'm so happy to have you. I just wanted to start off the vlog, even though this is my situation right now. My hair is like four days old. I have to shower and be ready in an hour because I have to go down to Soho really quickly. And then come back up here because it's my friend's birthday. So she's having a little like pregame at her apartment and then we're going out to a bar today. And I feel like I haven't been in a bar in a really long time and I don't know how to behave. So I think it's just because I was away for work and then I was just away in Aruba with my friends. Um, and now I'm like back in my home base. I'm like, what do we do here? Like what's going on? So that's what I have today. I woke up at 7.30 and just started to clean. I had an actual tornado in my room and I'm going to show you guys what it looked like. If you guys have OCD, look away because the bed was just filled with stuff. The floor, like I could barely walk in here and I can barely walk in here as it is because the room is so tiny, but it was like so, so bad. And I went to sleep like that. And normally I cannot go to sleep unless I have like a clean room and a clean conscience, but I fell asleep like a baby. It probably could have been because last night, Steph's friend is here to visit and we went to Jungle Bird and they have this fun little drink that's like a punch bowl and it's, they serve it to you. It's like a pitcher of this rum drink and they dump it into like the serving bowl and they give you really cute fancy cups to drink with it. Actually, I think all the cups there are fancy. It's a really nice place to get a drink if you guys are looking for like a nice date night spot or to go out with your friends. like. It's more of a chill vibe. It's not like a, you know, music, like bar kind of, it's like a calm drink spot. Anyway, so we all drank the punch bowl. Not sure why we decided to order that, but I woke up this morning. I was like completely fine at first. And then I chugged some lemon water and then I started to get a little bit of a headache and I have to be fine for today. So I have a liquid IV. I have this acai berry, acai berry flavor and it's really really good i think this one's my favorite out of all of them but i decided to just have one of these to prepare myself for the day and to make sure that i'm fine by the time i have to go and drink again so that's the story i have three loads of laundry that i did yesterday no two days ago yesterday and now half of yesterday's is in the dryer right now because it didn't fully dry and last night when i got back here at 11 p.m I was not putting it back in the dryer because I just needed to go to bed. I was so tired. So I'm gonna hop downstairs and grab that stuff really quickly, fold all of that. And I originally tried to hang it in my bathroom, but there was so much laundry and my laundry rack can only hold so much. So I just ended up having to throw it back in the dryer this morning. Thank God it didn't like smell like mold or something already, but it's only been like eight hours anyway. So I didn't think that would happen anyway. So I've been having a super boring morning of just cleaning everything up but we're getting there. I ended up, sometimes when I clean, I will like empty things out and like refold and reorganize stuff, which was not the time to do it because like I said, I have to be ready in an hour. So I need to stop, but everything looks really clean. I have a pile of stuff that I have to sell and a pile of summer stuff that I still have to put away and my suitcase is out and all this stuff. But I'm about to have a lot more under the bed storage because I have some gowns under there. <laughs> that I was going to be working with a brand on, but we decided to do something different. So, I mean, they're not like smushed under there. They're like nicely folded in half um, in their garment bags, but they take up like this half of the bed, like the whole bottom half of the bed and under. So I'm gonna take that stuff out. I saved some shoe boxes from like my Dolce Vita shoes and some Steve Madden ones that I'm just gonna organize things into. And I've already started to do that, but I'm gonna continue with it because I feel like it helps to have everything sectioned out. And then a lot of my winter stuff is gonna have to go under the bed too. So I'm looking to buy those um, like zip around thing. I don't know what to call them, but they're from Amazon. And you basically just like put all your clothes in, zip it around and then you slide it under the bed. So I'm gonna order some of those because right now I have nothing to put all my winter stuff in and I think I have to keep it here. I would love to keep it at my parents' house in New Jersey, but I just don't feel like it's fair to keep all my stuff there. I mean, I don't think they would mind. I think coats 
will probably go there because I just don't think they're gonna fit under the bed, but hopefully I could fit like knitwear and all that stuff. But we'll see. So I'm just gonna chug my liquid IV, get the laundry and then get ready because this is like nowhere near done, as you can tell. And I'm kind of in a rush now because I decided to vlog at the most inconvenient times, but I just wanted to start it off. I hope you guys are all doing really well. If you guys want to subscribe, don't forget to click that button right down below and let's get into some more cleaning, even though I'm already exhausted from cleaning. Also excuse the situation behind me, but I put this talentless tank top back on because it was in the wash for like three weeks. Don't leave your wash to last minute because you will end up doing seven loads just like I did. But I am obsessed with this tank top. I have um, like those heat adhesive nipple covers on just because it's not see-through, but like you could see the outline. But the quality of this tank top is insane. I can't wait to wear this with like straight leg trousers in the summer, but for right now I'm just using it to lounge around in. But my plan today for my outfit is going to be a Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's funny. It's like completely normal to wear denim on denim, but I think I'm gonna wear this top underneath it. If I don't wear this one, I'll wear a bralette, but I feel like this one would be really cute, especially since if I wanna take the denim jacket off, like if it's hot inside the bar, I don't wanna be like fully like exposed with just a bralette, so I feel like this would be a better option, but it's supposed to rain and be a little bit chillier today, so I might not need to wear, like, or I might not need to take my jacket off, so it might be fine to have a bralette. We'll see. I'll decide what the vibe is a little bit later, but such a good lounging tank top. I just had to show you guys because I got this stuff in from Talentless maybe like three weeks ago. No, I think it's like a month actually. And I've been living in the stuff, the matching sets I wear to Trader Joe's. Everything's just like really great quality. I think that it's definitely worth it to spend on something like this because I've had so many of these tank tops in the past and they just end up turning yellow and gross and whatever. And this one is just really nice. You can tell that it's like a thicker fabric and it's honestly just really flattering. This halter style is just, this is it. So I'm gonna be walking around and cleaning in this today and maybe I'll be wearing it out later. But yeah, really cute. And like I said, you can wear it lounging or you can wear it out. So I feel like it's very versatile. All right, you guys, so I'm ready. That is folded laundry on the bed right behind me. But I was going to go down to Soho to get my denim jacket because my boyfriend got it for me from home because he's an angel, but I didn't have enough time. He wanted to go and get a watch that was newly released and they ended up selling out and all that stuff. So I didn't have time to get down there afterwards and I have to be at my friend Lauren's at 11.15. It's now 11.34. So I have the tank top on that I told you guys about before, but I'm gonna have to get my jacket later, but that's kind of, one of the reasons why I went with the tank top, well, I liked it better. And also because I wanted my jacket for the first half of my journey. So I just wanted to make sure I was a little bit more covered. I honestly like probably would have chosen this anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But I'll get my denim jacket when we get to the bar later because he's gonna meet us there. So, so I need to go downstairs quickly and get a little white claw from one of the bodegas. And then I'm gonna take a taxi up I've been trying to take more taxis as opposed to Ubers just because I feel like the taxis have suffered so much since Uber came out and they're always cheaper and the drivers are from New York. Like I know that the tax, the Uber drivers get like licenses to drive in New York city or something or a permit. I don't know what it is, but the taxi drivers in New York are just unmatched. Like they know the streets a lot better and I feel like they can always get you there faster. So if you guys visit New York, please support the taxis because I mean, I feel like their business has gotten hit so hard since Uber came out. And I know that it's more convenient sometimes to just have it ready and like you walk out the door and it's there. But to be honest, like there are taxis everywhere in New York. So you can probably nine times out of 10 get one. The only time I would say is like, if you're going home after like going out at night, I think it's better to take an Uber. But if there's a taxi around, definitely do that. Cause it's like $7 as opposed to being like 35 with the upcharge and all that dumb stuff. So. Yeah, but I will show you guys my full outfit in the mirror and then we will leave to go to my friend Lauren's. Okay, it's so much darker over here, but this is the tank, you guys already saw this. And then these are my straight leg light wash jeans from H&M. I have featured these in like seven different videos already. Um, this is them after going in the dryer. They were a little bit loose on my waist when I wore them last, I think just because of the whole like wearing them three times and stuff. 
but they snapped right back into shape and they're still just as long as I need them to be. I need to fix the bed skirt because this is my toolkit that you guys are seeing right there. Um, and then I'm just wearing my Veja sneakers because I was going to wear my platform Converse, but I went to tie them and one of the laces had been fraying since maybe the first time I started to wear them. And now the lace just snapped when I went to tie them. So I was afraid that was gonna happen because I wasn't taking care of it. I should have emailed customer service like the second that it started to happen. And I was gonna do it at work yesterday, but I just had so much to do that I couldn't even like, I worked through my lunch. Like I couldn't even stop to do one other thing that didn't have anything to do with work. And now I have a broken shoelace and I had to wear these sneakers instead. But I mean, these are my tried and true pair of shoes. Like I wear them to work. I wear them walking around here. They're so comfortable and they're leather. So they're really easy to clean off if you want to wear them out. But I mean, I think they also just look a little bit nicer than me wearing like Converse, even though I love Converse. Okay, I need to leave right this second because I'm so late and it's my pet peeve of myself when I'm late. That didn't make any sense. Okay, everyone, it is now Sunday morning. I didn't really pick up the camera yesterday because we went to my friend Lauren's and then we went to her actual birthday thing. And then we walked to a place right around the corner and watched the Villanova game. They won and then we came back and I literally passed out for 12 hours. <laughs> and Steph texted to me and she's like, are you okay? And I was like, I don't really know. Like I had, this is a TMI, but I had to pee so bad for like two hours, but I was so lazy and I didn't even get up. And I only have like mornings like that, like every once in a while, but I just like needed one. I just had to sleep in. And I also was having like actual physical stomach pains because I was so hungry. And I was like, nope, not getting up. I'm just gonna sit here and writhe in pain. Um, but now I'm up, finally. It's 11 o'clock. I'm shooting at 12 with Sandra again. I love that we have this little routine. Steph was gonna come with us, but she's <laughs> filming me while she's on the Peloton. Um, no, but she has work today. So we are just gonna go and do a few outfits. I have like four that I have to do, but she's only bringing three. Is that rude if I bring an extra? No. It's so I feel like I'm quick. Yeah, I'm really quick normally too. So I feel like I won't offend her. Anyway, so I made a smoothie. This is the fattest smoothie I've ever made in my life. Literally a little bit over the max line. Whoopsie. Um, but there's like a banana and a half in here. And uh, cranberries, which is really good because they kind of have like the same properties as blueberries where like the antioxidants are really high. And then... There's kale, cherries, strawberries, and I think some blueberries. There's like a random mix that I use that has like a bunch of different ones together. So it's really, really good. I'm gonna sit here and chug this. Oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be cooking my hash brown. But it makes, <laughs> it like makes a humming noise though. Um, so yeah, I'm having a hash brown and smoothie for breakfast. That's like the dream. We're getting a little salty and sweet breakfast this morning. And then I'm gonna get ready super quick because I have to plan my outfits out and my room's kind of a mess. So I just want to get all that together before I leave to shoot. And I'm also really excited to get a coffee because I haven't had one in like three days. And who's counting? But I like really love coffee now. It's kind of dangerous. So we're going to probably do iced coffees. I downloaded the Blank Street Coffee app and you can get three free drinks with it. So I think I'm going to do that and try it out because I haven't had Blank Street since being in the city. And I feel like I always want to try new places. And Cobrick is still my favorite. Isn't that crazy that I just love Cobrick so much? I know. I haven't had it. I haven't been. Every weekend, I'm like, oh, I'm going to walk over there. Last, I mean, yesterday I didn't have time, but that was going to be my plan because I was cleaning for two and a half hours like a psycho. That's okay. Um, and yeah, but I will take you guys there because I feel like it would be really good. A lot of people love it, even if they don't have like the free drinks or whatever. Like a lot of people go there. So we will test it out and I will update you. But I'm going to drink this quickly and then get ready really quickly because I still have to clean and God knows how long that's going to take. Okay, you guys, so I'm just packing my stuff up to get ready to leave. And I always bring this super puff bag because my friend Jenna didn't want it. So she left it here when she bought a super puff. And I like this bag because it just holds everything in it, even if I'm not bringing like too much stuff and I can fit it in a smaller tote. I'll always just put it in here anyway because... It's nice when everything's like all folded and stuff, but at the end of the shoot, when I'm kind of just like throwing everything in there, I like to have this just because I can just chuck everything in it basically. It's also a really good travel bag for home. 
I normally will use this to throw all my laundry in because my mom always loves when I bring my laundry home. So normally I can never bring it because I have too much stuff to bring home. Um, but this bag works really well for that too. But I did just notice that my sneakers have a chunk of rubber missing out from the heel here. And I'm like, when did this happen? And I know I've had these for like three-ish years. So maybe it's time to get a new pair. I also, when I went to Detroit for a Bottega fashion show, I got Bottega green on the thread here and it was spray paint. I tried to get it off and it just will not budge. I've tried to use all my stain removers, didn't work at all. So I maybe will get another pair of V10s just because I wear this style so much and I love that it has black in it because I can still like brighten up an outfit that's all black because the black is still like tied into the shoe. So I definitely need a new pair. I think it's getting a little, you know, past the point of them looking nice anymore. And maybe I'll just keep them like to go out in. They are leather and it's just super easy to wipe them down if I like go out in them or if people are like stepping on your feet or spilling drinks or whatever else can happen in the wild bars in New York City. So yeah, I was a little bit shocked to see that because I'm like, that probably takes a lot of force to stomp on the back of my shoe or for me to try to get them up. I think what probably happened was I tried to step on the back of my shoe to like slide my foot out and I ended up just ripping off a piece of the um, rubber, but I haven't found it on the floor yet. So we'll see. So outfits that I'm doing, I have this really, really cute crew neck on from Brunette the Label. It says Eternal Kindness Babes Club. And then on the back, it says the same thing. And it's this really cute, like caramel color. I will link this one and their website down below because I have that other black crew neck that just says brunette on it. And they make one that says blonde, redhead, um, and all those things. So they're really, really cute. And I'm gonna take a picture on this one. I just have black leggings on underneath it that you can't see. And then my aloe crew socks, because what else? They're like the comfiest socks on the planet. Um, I also love my talentless ones, but I kind of like that this had the black stripe on it. I don't know why, I just liked it. And then I'm gonna be shooting this Marcella outfit. So um, this is an NYC brand and I love supporting New York City based brands because obviously I live here now. <laughs> and my swimsuit from last vlog, the black one, that's from Vi Swim. That's also another New York City based brand. So this one is just a really nice square neck tank. These are so flattering, I absolutely love this cut. And I don't own anything like this, which is so weird. I'm like, yeah, it's so flattering, but I don't even have one of those. So now I do. And then the bottoms for the outfit is just gonna be these trousers, which I think are really cute. And I wear black trousers to week, to week. I wear black trousers to work maybe once a week. So adding another pair into my rotation is definitely useful, especially since my other ones are from Zara and I don't know why I'm always afraid they're gonna break. Well, I do know why it's cause Zara is like terrible quality, but yeah these are like a really nice like weighted fabric they're really really well made so i'm excited to wear these and then the last outfit that i have is this cashmere sweater and we're kind of in the oh my god these are literally the same color we're kind of in the weather right now where you can wear a sweater without a coat but you can't necessarily like start dressing too springy yet we do we have had some days that were like a little bit warmer that you can get away with it but for this one it's 44 degrees, so I'm gonna shoot a sweater and kind of just have this outfit be like the no jacket weather outfit where you're still wearing knitwear, but you don't have to wear a big coat over the top, which I'm really excited for because it's been a long time coming. You know, living in this area of the United States, we don't get that much, that many months of really nice weather. It's kind of just from like April until August and then the rest of it is like freezing and raining and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I feel like we're on the tail end of winter and we're gonna be able to dress um, so much lighter and cuter as the summer approaches, which I'm so thankful for, honestly. And then the jeans that I'll wear with that one are these wide leg, I don't know if they're wide leg or straight leg. I don't know what to call them, but I think they're straight leg jeans. These are the H&M ones that I wore yesterday to go out. And also, just letting you guys know, the Canadian tuxedo outfit worked out perfectly. So I was super happy about that. And I was also like dressed appropriately for the weather. But I wasn't dressed appropriately when it decided to rain as I was leaving and I was only wearing that tiny little white cropped tank. And everyone was looking at me like I was crazy. And I was like, I know you guys know that I'm going out and I'm not gonna wear a sweater. So this is it. But 
you know, you can't stop the looks from people. Um, also, this is um, the belt that I'm gonna wear with the black on black outfit just to break it up a little bit because I know that like it can look pretty solid sometimes when I wear all black and the textures of these two materials aren't too different. So I'm like, yeah, we wanna just split it up a little bit and then I'm gonna bring my Polen bag with me. I wore this out yesterday and I normally don't because I just perceive this as being like a big crossbody bag when it's really not. So I love this one because I can fit so much stuff in it. And it just like is so minimal that it can dress up any outfit, even if I'm wearing like a sweatshirt. I just think it looks really cute with this. And I can also hold it by the top handle, which is amazing. And honestly, I think I've said this before, but the shape of this is so unique and that's why I love it. I just don't see any other brands doing bags like this. And that is everything, I think. I have to just get my gray sneakers because I'm wearing them with the outfit that I have on right now. I think I'll just wear the Vejas for the other two outfits that I just showed you. Um, sorry, my lips are like disgustingly chapped. If I don't sleep with Aquaphor on all like every night, I'll wake up and my lips are like really wrinkly and they just feel like, I don't know, it feels like tight and like I can't move them. So that's gross. And I didn't sleep with Aquaphor on last night because I literally passed out at like 9 p.m which is concerning, but I got a lot of sleep and I think it made me more tired. So when Sandra gets here, we are going to get coffees, which I'm really excited for because I haven't had coffee in like three days. And you guys, I don't, I don't know what it is. I just love the taste of it now and I just want it like every day, but I don't get it every day. But um, the addiction might be growing. I'm not really sure, but that's my theory. Um, but we're gonna try blank coffee. I don't know if I told you guys yesterday that I was gonna try to go there But I ended up not having any time at all. So we're gonna go today Well, I haven't asked Sandra yet, but I think I've seen like her put blank coffee on her story before so I'm actually like really looking forward to trying it because Cold break is still my number one coffee favorite and I keep promising myself that I'm gonna wake up super early and get over there for a walk in the morning on like Saturday mornings and stuff but again, because I was cleaning for two and a half hours yesterday, I couldn't make it to Cobrick. And now I have a different option to try. So we'll go to Blank Street now. And then probably next weekend, like if the weather is nice, then I will walk there on like Saturday or Sunday. I feel like I've talked about Cobrick so much on my channel, but I've never like showed you guys what it looks like. So I will take you in the next vlog to Cobrick. So mark my words. I mean, if I end up doing like a full on another day vlog which i love doing because i feel like i just sit here and like chat to you guys and it's like really fun for me so i've been doing like a lot more vlogs lately um i am filming a styling video today though so i can't wait to share that one with you guys because it's been one that honestly just makes sense and i've gotten requests to do this one for a while too so you guys will see that i think it's going to be up on my channel before this vlog goes live so make sure you guys check that out I will link it here because I don't want to tell you guys what it is, even though it's already out. Um, so yeah, that one's going to be really fun to film because it's like one of the most worn items in my closet. And every time I post the um, article of clothing, I'm being so sketchy, whatever, I'll just tell you because it's going to be on my channel already. So it's styling straight leg trousers because I feel like I own so many pairs of them now and I will only use the black ones to style because they're that versatile and I can come up with like six different outfits just by using the straight leg ones. So that's gonna be a styling video that's gonna be up before this one goes live. And then hopefully I can do two vlogs this week, but we'll see. I'm trying to like not, like I want them to be quality vlogs. I don't want them to just be like me sitting here like talking to you guys, which I mean, I feel like that's what they've turned into anyway. And I'm like showing you guys new stuff and like what I'm doing, which is like honestly one of my favorite things to do. So, I mean, I'm gonna try to film too, but we'll see, cause it's already Sunday. And the other one would have to start like as soon as I'm done with this one. And I don't know that I have that much going on, but I do wanna watch Bridgerton later because I loved the first season of it and it uh, premiered on Friday and I just haven't had time to like watch it. I was gonna watch it on Friday when I was doing laundry, but we ended up going to Jungle Bird to get drinks, so, yeah, I haven't had time, but I really want to see it. So that's probably going to be on the agenda for tonight. Maybe if I'm like cooking and stuff, I'll show you guys that. But yeah, I'm going to get my shoes on because Sandra should be here in five minutes. 
Oh, and I did just want to show you guys the new candle that I'm burning because it's so good. Like this is like the best smell ever. It's the Veluspa candles. The one I was just burning was the French lavender one and this is Baltic Amber. It has like a powdery, like musky scent to it. And I've been burning this like all day long. So this is like a new favorite of mine. I think my mom has more of these in the gift closet at home. Like we have like a gift closet that is insane. I don't know how she's like built up this stash for so long, but she has. And I might just ask her if I can buy some off of her and give them to myself. Okay, you guys, we just went to Blank Street. Mm. Um, Sandra so got, good. what'd you get? Oh. A small vanilla latte. Mm -hmm. And the cutest little size. Cutest cup, the branding on it, we're obsessed. So and I got an iced latte. I really wanted an iced one because I've just been like craving everything cold today. <laughs> so I got a large because it was free and we love free yeah we love free both of our drinks were free which is amazing i um, maybe we'll like reach out to them so that we can get a link too because we did this yeah. through i told you guys through um my friend avery's link so maybe we'll get our own and then everyone can go get their free blank streets coffees too so so good but like this is what i love is like going and finding places and then actually liking them oh, yeah. i'm like <laughs> that's like the best that's the dream like i haven't had cobrick in so long and that's my favorite one yeah and I'm like trying to find like competitors for it, but like I would definitely come here and it's closer. I would easily come back. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Yeah, definitely a five out of five, five stars, I guess we could say, because otherwise I would say 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out, 11 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I think it's that good. Yeah. I mean, I'm literally drinking milk with hazelnut syrup in it. So <laughs> it's like, how could that not be good? There's one shot of espresso in this, I think. But it matters. Like, it's fine, but the color but is like matters. everything. It's so good. Yeah. So we are going to go to our little spot and take some pics now because... Oh, yeah. It's time, and I mean, I feel like the lighting's actually really good today. I think so too. And Even it though it doesn't seem too bad, like yeah. the wind. Mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, I couldn't really feel wind at all. One of my outfits is a tank top. Okay, we're gonna make it work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm literally gonna die out here, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll just like throw work. my sweatshirt on or something over it, and then just undress when I have to do it. But there you go. that's the reality of the situation. <laughs> and where are we? Are we gonna go on the one of the side streets, can, or do you want to do like flat iron? Yeah, let's do the side streets mm -hmm. first, and then if anything, we can just go to Flatiron okay. and figure it out. Perfect plan. Okay, we okay. will update you later. Oh my god, I just snapped the cap off of this. I get so you nervous. It? Yeah, it's on, I think. Good, yeah. Imagine if I were to, like, get into your car and, like, spill everything. My husband will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I would have to come in here and suck it out with a vacuum or something. I would feel so bad. <laughs> so, like, you're not hanging out with her anymore, okay? <laughs> okay. Mm. Updates to come once so we're done good. shooting. It's time to get some stuff done. Okay, you guys, we are done shooting. All of the outfits so came good. out so good. I'm still wearing the so same happy. crew neck. I just threw it on over my little square neck tank top, but we had such a good shoot day. And now we just found a spot right outside of Sephora so in good. meatpacking, which is like oh kind of gosh. crazy. Like meatpacking parking is not fun at all. Yeah. And, and it's, it's like the perfect spot. It's right literally right Sephora. in front of it. So this building right next to us, what is that? Restoration, Restoration hardware, hardware. And then next to it is Sephora. So yeah. we're going to hop in there because I have a gift card from my birthday. And, and Sandra problem, just, so yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to enable each other. But um, she was like, do you want to go to Sephora? I was like, oh my gosh, I have a gift card. We have to go. Heck so yeah. And the Sephora sale is coming up. So yes. keep that in mind. So everyone be on your get your wish list, wish, wish list. get <laughs> your wish list ready to go because it's coming and oh, i yeah. feel like i always get chaotic when it comes to sales because i'm like oh i don't know what i need oh my god and i buy everything but yeah Except and then the i just buy I stuff need. that i don't need yeah so yeah a wish list definitely helps or like start a cart or something just so that when the time comes like you could either narrow it down or whatever you need to do but oh yeah um yeah so we're gonna hop into sephora really quickly i keep saying hop when I'm going somewhere. Hop. I'm like, I'm gonna hop downstairs. I'm gonna hop over <laughs> here. Like, I'm not hopping. I'm literally walking like a normal person. Yeah. So, let's check to you make sure no one's coming. You have your bag? Yep, I have my bag. Let's bounce. We're going to Sephora, everybody. And I haven't been there in so long. And it's just nice when you have a gift card because you technically don't have to pay for it. It's like free money. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Excited to Free coffee, free like, Sephora. Oh my what gosh. This is like insane. Free parking? Oh my gosh. Free parking. That's it's like the biggest win, I feel today. like. <laughs> Even though, like, the coffee thing was definitely a win, but oh, yeah. 
This is just as good. Okay, it's like really breezy out here and I'm gonna look bald, so <laughs> checking in a little. All right, so I'm back home now. My sister actually was coming back from a wedding that she had this weekend, so she stopped by my apartment, so I got to see her for a little bit, and now she's headed back to Long Island for school. But me and Sandra, as you guys saw, stopped in Sephora, and I have this stuff in my purse because I didn't want to pay for a bag, and we're also just saving the environment. I was a little bit like a chicken with its head cut off in that store because I was just so excited, and I hadn't added anything into my makeup routine for so long and I'm honestly just like getting a little bit bored with it. I feel like I never add in new products and it's like, okay, I do the same thing every single time and my makeup always looks the same. The only thing that I'll change up is like my eyeliner if I just do like a normal like smoked eyeliner or if I do like a cat eye, but that's really it. So I feel like that's boring. So I decided with my gift card to get a couple of new products that Honestly, I feel like people have like hyped up so much and when I tried them I was like pleasantly surprised that they were actually like that good and so The first thing I was deciding between is that I have the unseen sunscreen and I absolutely love it And so I was looking at the super goop aisle and I almost got the unseen but I ended up going for a different product because I saw on Rachel Radke's channel that she uses something like this. I don't think it's the exact same product, but it's the same brand and it's called, I don't know how to say this, big surprise there, <laughs> but it's called Sai, I think. I don't know. And it's called Sun Visor. So it's broad spectrum SPF 35. The only thing is that the Supergroup ones are 40. 35 is still a really high number, so I'm fine with that. And it's a sheer moisturizer. So it kind of has this, like a little bit of a tinted color to it. And I tried it on my hand and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. And I was deciding between this product and getting the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Foundation because I've heard so many people raving about it and it's been out for a little while and I feel like the hype is still there, which I think is like a really good sign with a product if like, you know, people keep buying it and people keep talking about it and loving it. But that was 44 and I just couldn't really like grapple with the fact that I was gonna spend basically my entire $50 gift card on one product. So I went with this one. And then in addition to that, I got one of the Rare Beauty blushes, which now I'm just saying, I don't know if I got the blush all over the bottle or if it was there before, but I don't really care because it's just the box. But Sandra was telling me about this shade and it's kind of like a peachy tone. I don't know what is going on with the light here, um, but it's kind of a peachy tone, which I thought was really nice for the summertime. And a lot of my blushes that I wear, I have the um, NARS one in Behave, which is what I wear like every single day and they're more pink toned. So I wanted to get something that had like a little bit of like a peachy undertone because I feel like for the summer, it looks really nice with the tan. And this product I think is only $20. I know that sounds like a lot, but for a product like this where you literally just need one dot and it spreads super well. And I've like my friend Jenna loves the Rare Beauty blushes. I think Christina has told me about them too. Um, who you guys have met before in the vlogs. And they're just like obsessed with makeup and trying different products. And I feel like I don't go like too far out of my comfort zone. I want to, but to be honest, like the stuff in Sephora is kind of expensive. So I kind of just tend to stick to what I need instead of going and buying and trying different products. So I'm actually really glad that I picked these two things up because there are two things that I've never tried before and two brands that I've never tried. So I feel like it's a good combo. And then I had some points racked up. So. I ended up getting a mini unseen sunscreen. So I just ended up basically getting everything that I wanted, even though this is a tiny size, the stuff normally lasts me a really long time. And I still have the remainder of my other bottles. So I feel like this will be good to like throw in my purse or if I'm going to the beach or something and I don't want to bring like the full size bottle, then that's really convenient. And I didn't have to pay for it. So yeah, the point system at Sephora is actually really nice. And I feel like I don't realize how many points I like accrue over a certain amount of time and then all of a sudden I have like plenty and if there's a product there that I either really like or something that I want to try it's like a really good way to like try out new products so I feel like that's a really good perk but anyway I just filmed a video for these shoes and I want to show them to you guys because I feel like um this style of shoe is like trending right now and if you are looking to get them then I think these are a really good options so they're from the brand M Jemmy and they're Italian shoes, which is really nice. I feel like I always go on about like handbags and stuff that are made in Italy saying, why did you say it like that? That are made in Italy are just like better quality. I feel like the Italians just know leather and they know like shoe construction and bag construction, basically any leather good production. I feel like they're just like the best of the best. 
So I got these ballet flats and I loved that they had the square toe and they were just all leather and I felt like this is the most like minimal and chic way to wear them. And they also remind me of like Parisian style. So really happy about these. I feel like I'm gonna wear them with an outfit like I'm wearing right now, like very similar to this. This is actually an outfit that I wanted to shoot, but because I had like other collabs to do today, I didn't have time to do four looks and Sandra was only doing three, so I didn't wanna be rude and like do a bunch. So I did get three outfits done, which was really nice because I got a little bit like stressed out with like having my nine to five job during the week. I can never like shoot during the day, obviously. But I did get home a little bit earlier the other day and the sun was still out. It was like 5.30 because I worked through my lunch and took the earlier bus home. So I possibly can have the option to take an alpha picture after work, but I just don't want to bother Steph or Carson, especially if they're already doing their content like during the week because um, their schedule like permits them to and I don't want to like add on extra work to them. But we'll see. I have a couple of friends that also do like the nine to five thing and can't really shoot content aside from it being like before work or after work. So maybe I'll link up with them and see if we can go after work like a couple times during the week, just so I don't have to like really like focus and make sure that every single shot comes out perfectly. Even though like it's kind of easy to get a picture here because there's so many different backgrounds and like places to shoot. And I've been very good with like preparing my outfits lately, except for this morning. I literally had to throw these three together. So it was kind of nice that I did have to take like brand content because like the pieces were already chosen for me, but this is an outfit I would definitely want to shoot anyway. Um, so I'll probably do that next weekend. For today, I have to do, not have to, but I think I want to do my um, straight leg trouser styling video. I don't have that much light in my room right now though. And it's very gloomy outside. It was actually snowing like five minutes ago. My sister was like, are they serious? Like it's 44 degrees and it's snowing. It still kind of is a little bit, but um, I feel like I can't get that much light in here so I can, probably like do a sit down styling video but I don't know if I can get the cutaways and that's like obviously like the whole basis of the video is the outfit and I feel like now that it's like four it's like four o'clock I think it's 4 15 so I'm like I need to either get another like surge of light in here because it's been going in and out kind of so that I can do the outfits or I'll just do like a handbag review but I don't want to like let you guys down because I know that I promised that I would do the styling video and I feel like because I just did three vlogs in a row because I had two filmed and then Aruba, I couldn't film a fashion video when I was there. So I've been doing a lot of vlogs lately and they're all really long and I'm like so appreciative that you guys are still watching them when they're that long. But I mean, I personally like watching really long vlogs. So I'll keep them on like in my headphones when I'm at work and stuff, just cause it's like something different to listen to than like music or a podcast, which I feel like I can get kind of like tired of. So yeah, I'm gonna try to film that video because I really wanna get it done. And then I'm gonna watch Bridgerton because guys, like I just wanna watch it so badly. And Steph is at work. I don't know what time she's working until, but I feel like I, like when I go to watch shows in the living room, like I feel bad if like no one else wants to watch them because I feel like I'm hogging the TV. <laughs> but I mean, I'm sure she would, so we'll see. But that's all I have for you guys right now. And I think I'm gonna have a little snack and then try to film this video, but we'll see what happens with the light. Okay, you guys, so I just finished filming. I made myself a little lemon water here. It's like all I wanna drink these days. And I have this little um, container that I hold the lemon in. I don't know if I've showed this to you guys before, but I cut them up into little wedges like this. And then I keep them in here because it keeps them fresh and they don't dry out that way. So it's a really nice invention. And my mom actually, turned me on to this thing. So I'll link one that's like similar like that just cause I think it's genius and it's a really good way to store them. And this is what I'm gonna be eating right now. So it's 5.15, which is kind of like an early dinner for me, but I'm starving. I don't know why I've been waiting like to the very last minute for me to make dinner or like any meal today really. So I'm so hungry. I'm heating up this leftover pasta. It kind of looks a little bit gross, but Pro tip, just add a little bit of water in here if you're reheating pasta, and then you can add extra sauce and stuff, but it just helps like breathe life back into the pasta. And then it's basically in the same consistency or sometimes in the better, like even better than it was when it was like originally cooked. Cause I'm a huge leftover queen. So yeah, I have all the tips and tricks, but I'm just gonna sit and eat this and watch an episode of Bridgerton. And then I'll edit my video because I actually got everything done, which I'm very proud of. But I just couldn't wait to eat. It's literally 5.15, but 
I have to eat right away because I'm so hungry. And then maybe I'll have like a grilled cheese or something smaller a little bit later tonight, just so that I'm not like so hungry when I go to bed. But yeah, I'm like uncomfortably hungry. Like it's a little bit painful. And I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Okay, also this is the sauce that I've been using. I only had it once so far. And that's how I cooked my pasta when I originally made this, but I'm adding a, a little bit more here. And then the cheese that I'm gonna use, this is, I don't know, these are both from Trader Joe's. This is the Pecorino Romano. This is the best one I've gotten there since I started shopping there when I moved to the city. And this is the roasted garlic sauce. It's so, so good. And I'm a little picky when it comes to like any marinara sauce and things like that, because I think sometimes they can taste a little bit like fake, if that makes sense. And the flavor of this one is just really good. And I was sick of having like pasta with cheese because I think that's like childish. So I got this one instead. And then that with the Pecorino Romano cheese is just so good. And I need to stop talking about my food because it's making me even more hungry. And I'm probably gonna finish this in like a minute and a half. <laughs> going on with this hair here but anyway um i okay i just made that 10 times worse okay so it's monday now and what happened last night was basically me and steph turned on bridgerton and then we watched it for like five hours and i think i kind of just needed a sunday like that where i did honestly get a lot done and i had some exciting purchases I have some exciting deliveries, which are right here behind me, but I will save that for another vlog and I will save my thoughts on Bridgerton for another vlog because I think that if I did it right now, this video would be like 15 minutes longer and I'm sure by the time I actually film my reaction to it and let you guys know what I thought about it, I will be a little bit more concise, but this vlog's already going to be like 45 minutes long. So I just want to avoid having it go on any longer, honestly. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's just another classic New York City weekend of my life kind of deal. The one thing that I put on my Instagram polls this morning though was that I don't know if you guys would prefer to have one vlog or two vlogs a week. That would be in addition to the fashion video that I will be filming for you guys anyway. I've just really been enjoying vlogging lately. I feel like I've said that three times in this video, but I really am enjoying it. And now that it's actually light out when I get home, I can film some stuff. So I actually just had to film a couple of cutaways for a brand and I was able to do that right now. I mean, I did have to remodel and put my mirror on my dresser right now because the light is coming in this way. So I filmed myself in the mirror and it actually turned out really well. So I will probably be able to vlog like on the evenings, in the evenings when I get home from work and stuff like that. So I could possibly, you know, get another vlog out to you guys every week if that's what you would like to see so that maybe you guys can see more of like what my like weekly life is because it's very different from my weekend life i feel like my weekend life is like running errands or like going to see my friends and shooting for instagram and i don't want to, that to get too repetitive so i mean i actually do a lot after i get home from work i don't know how i have the energy for it but it's probably because i'm 26 and should have the energy for it but i just made chicken tenders and tater tots so I'm starving and I need to leave you guys here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much and thank you guys for watching as always. I appreciate your support and I hope to see you guys in my next video.